Good day everyone, this is Vasility and this is my OBS Apex recordings recording setting video. First, you want to download OBS from obsproject.com. Mine is Windows, so I download through the Windows button. Once you download uh, and you open OBS, run it as an administrator because um, sometimes there's problems if you don't run it as admin. First, uh, you'll notice that there's nothing in the scenes or sources tab. First, want to go under profile and create a new profile. Uh, for this video's purpose, this profile will strictly be for recording clips, not for. So I will first name the profile maybe Apex Clips, and click OK. I already have one created, so I'm already in the profile. So for the settings, under file settings, you want to go to output. First thing you want to ensure you enable is enable replay buffer. Because you will not see this when you first start OBS. So once you enable it, it will appear. Start replay buffer. What replay buffer does is basically what Shadow Play does in NVIDIA, if any of you know it. Uh, you want to set your maximum replay time. For me, it's 60 seconds, which is usually more than long enough for any Apex clip. Unless you're recording gameplay, you want to put it longer maybe. Disclaimer, it will take a lot of space on your hard drive. So the maximum memory I put is 2000 megabytes. I have a 32 gig. RAM uh, setup, so I have a bit more leeway, I guess. So next, under the recording settings, you want to ensure that you put it as uh, type standard. And for the recording path, which is where you want your clips to go to, I put it under a custom folder called OBS Apex Clips. And uh, you want to untick this under the recording format. You want to put it as MP4 or any other set uh, format, but MP4 usually works best. Audio track, you put it as um, you can put it as one, but if you have shadow, if you have voice meter like I do, and you have your audio split into different channels, for me, I have Discord in one channel, Spotify in one channel, and my microphone in one channel. So I put it as two, and under the encoder, you want to ensure you click NVIDIA NVENC H.264 bracket new. Then for rescale output, you want to uncheck that. All the custom master settings as well. Down here under your rate control, you want to put it as CQP, <coughs> CQ level at 18, keyframe interval at 2, uh, preset, you want to put it at max quality because this is where you came for the video for, uh, highest quality apex clips. Profile, you put it as high. Uh, then for look ahead and cycle visual tuning, just take this and don't take that. You put it as 0 and max B frames, you put it as 2. Max B frames, you put it as 2. Next, under video, you want to ensure that you put the correct resolution for your for your Apex Legends. So, if you are currently running Apex on your main monitor at 1728 by 1080, you want to put it as both as 1728 by 1080. Uh, if you're using 1920 by 1080, you you write it both as that and 1680 and so forth. So for downscale filter, you want to put it as uh, Langzos, however you call it. Here is 36 samples. First, when you go under your FPS value, it should usually com come out as common FPS values by default. Uh, you want to go under and click fractional FPS value and then make sure that, the, that uh, you can set it uh, only by this way, then you can set it to 120 frames per second. If you are looking to edit your clips and slow-mo it. Uh, be, uh, so 120 F FPS clips are way better for slowing down and more smooth as compared to 60 fps clips. If you're not looking to edit your apex clips in the montage or anything, just keep it at 60. On the common and keep it as 60. Apply. Make sure you click apply and make sure everything is safe. Then the next last thing you want to touch is under hotkeys. So once you enable replay buffer, there will be a tab that comes out under hotkeys called replay buffer. And you want to ensure that you set a hotkey to save replay and set to anything. It could be a chain of key presses like Ctrl, Alt, S or something. For me, I put it as F10, click apply and then I click OK. So that's all you need to do for settings. Uh, so every time you want to play Apex or um, you want to start recording your Apex clips, you want to ensure that you have a scene set up, you add a scene. Name it Clips for example. I already have one set up called Clips. 
and under your sources you want to ensure that you add uh, audio of course so you make sure you add a uh, audio source which is an audio output capture and to add uh, so i have a desktop audio here which is my default audio whatever you're listening to on your here as you can see i have discord audio and mic so mic audio over here and i have this permanently on mute because i only want to record my apex sound I will ha and then after that you have to make sure you add uh, I have one already uh, I can just create a new one just for I want to ensure that you capture a specific window so you can see under here I have R5 Apex and you ensure that you click yes click any of these and click OK so Next, all you need to do is ensure that every time you start OBS as admin, you click start replay buffer. You ensure that both your, you only have the audio that you need on and the rest are muted. Then you can right click, disable the preview if you want to save your uh, RAM or something. That is pretty much all of the settings that you need to know. Um, another tip I have, if you don't want OBS to be open like this and taking up so much of your memory, is to start a shortcut shortcut straight from my obs install folder house obs studio bin 64 bit uh, it will come out as obs right here like, uh, 64 bit is called obs 64.exe you're gonna ensure that uh, your obs 64.exe you right click on it and you send a shortcut to your desk and under your target you want to ensure that add these extra commands so i will actually copy paste this and put it in the description for you guys so you make sure that your profile is set correctly so for mine it was apex clips nice to stray this command basically uh, makes it so that every time you click on this shortcut you will ensure your obs is minimized to your tray system tray and then you will have another command here called start replay buffer which helps you start replay buffer automatically so every time i want to record apex clips I double click on this and that's all I have to do and I can just start recording like a shadow play <coughs> so that is pretty much it for the whole video if you guys have any questions please ask in the comment section below forward this to anyone that you might think find this useful and uh, like and subscribe thank you